Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I am going to solve the transportation problem using IBM MyLog or PLC Flex Studio. And the model of the transportation problem is the linear programming model, which we are going to implement. So the linear model says we want to minimize the total transportation cost where we have M sources and we have N destination. And uh, each uh, source we are representing with I index and each destination we are representing with J index. So CIJ is basically indicating the per unit cost from source I to destination J. XIJ is basically indicating the amount of quantity which we are shipping from source I to destination J. So that means our objective is to minimize the total transportation cost. Subject to we have two constraints. One is regarding the supply constraint. So that is indicating the amount of quantity with maximum we can ship from source I to destination J. Similarly, that is a demand constraint uh, that how much quantity is needed by every particular destination. So in based on this model, we have the quantities that is basically we have the four sources that in four branches. We have four destination, four warehouses and against each branch, we have the supply. Okay, and against each warehouse, you can say each destination, we have a demand and then we have given the transportation cost. So if we are shipping the quantity from branch A to warehouse one, how much cost we have to bear similarly from branch A to warehouse two, how much quantity uh, cost we have to bear. So given this data set and given this model, uh, how we can implement the transportation problem into, into the OPLC Flex Studio. So in order to implement OPL CPLEX Studio, we first of all, we need to create a project. So how we can create a project in OPL, we will go to file new OPL project and we will write down the name of the OPL project over here and make sure there is no space. Okay, so you have to consider a project name in which there should be no space, right? And then uh, after writing down the name and choosing the uh, project location, we need a uh, create a model as well as a default run configuration. So the model file we needed in order to write down the code, default run configuration needed in order to solve that particular model. As I have already created the transportation problem project, so let me start writing the code. So the my model file is dot mod, okay, and run configuration that is basically configuration one that is a default name. So first of all, according to our problem, so we have four branches and we have four warehouses. So branches is represented with I index and warehouses that is a destination is represented with can be represented with J index. So that means we have two index. So I am writing down these two indices and that is with respect to the set set of integer type that is four branches and then four warehouses and then every uh, uh, warehouse has some demand and every uh, branch has some supply. So in order to declare that data, so we have used array, integer type array, and then we have represented the data of this one. That is the demand data against every warehouse. Similarly, supply data that is represented over here. Okay, this is the supply data. And then in order to define this transportation cost, we have to use the two dimensional array that is from branch A to warehouse one and two and three. So this is basically a DJ type transportation cost from branch to warehouse. And this is, we are using the two dimensional array. So right now what we are doing, we are defining the data as well as we are declaring this data within the model file. So we can also declare data in a separate file how we can do that, you can watch uh, my next videos in which we have used how we can declare this data set in a separate file. Okay, so uh, by the way, right now we have declared the data according to our problem as well as the data uh, which we needed that is according to our problem. Next, we, what we need to do, we need to define the decision variable. So what's the decision variable that is uh, amount of uh, quantity which we can ship from branch to warehouse, right? So that, uh, how we can define in OPL that is D var float plus. So in 
float plus mean this variable is a fractional variable I mean you can say continuous variable and this plus is basically indicating that the amount of quantity cannot be negative right so that is basically the one of the linear programming assumption that the every decision variable must be positive so there this is how we can define the decision variable which is a two dimensional variable that is i and j from branch to warehouse how much quantity we are shipping the next thing we need to define is the objective function. So in order to define the objective function, we have to use the keyword D express that is defined expression that is a float type. And we are you know, storing the answer of the objective function in a variable that is trans cost. Okay. So is equal to some I in, in branches, J in warehouses, that is the per unit cost multiplied by the amount of quantity, which we are shipping so this is how we can calculate the total transportation cost now we are going to write down the model so in order to write down the model we want to minimize what that is the objective function which we have stored in a variable that is transport cost subject to we have two types of constraints one is a supply constraint and another is a demand constraint and for a supply constraint we are saying that for all i in warehouses okay some j in branches so that means the amount of quantity which we are shipping from uh, jth branch must be equal to the supply from the ith warehouse to the where ith warehouse so this is the basically the supply constraint and we are considering the balanced transportation problem where the sum of supply must be equal to the sum of demand similarly we have a demand constraint and here we are saying that for all J in branches that the sum against I in warehouses. So the amount of quantity which we are shipping to the destination J must fulfill the demand. So this is the set of supply as well as the set of demand constraint. So once we have completed the model, as you can see that we have completed our entire model with the help of indices, data, decision variable, objective function and then the rest of the model with uh, objective as well as the constraint. Now, in order to solve this particular problem, what we need to do, we will drag and drop the model file in the run configuration, okay? In this configuration file, and then right click, run this, okay? So once we run this, as you can see that, right now OPL is solving this particular problem. So after solving this, if you go to the solution tab, you can see that solution is optimum with objective function 960. Right now, the answer of the decision variables are, this is basically the amount of quantity which we have shipped from source side to destination J. So that this first row is basically indicating as you can also check this answer from over here. That is basically this one. The CN variable transportation cost that is from uh, branch A to warehouse 4, we are sending 35 amount of quantity. Uh, whereas branch A to warehouse 1, 2 and 3, we are sending nothing. Similarly, from branch uh, B to warehouse uh, 3, uh, warehouse 3, we are sending 50 quantity and so on. So these are the decision variables answer. This is objective function. I hope you understand. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.